السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل بایولوجیکل سائنس اینڈ اسٹیٹسٹکس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول وانٹ ٹو سالو این ایگزامپل آف سکس چیپٹر فیکٹوریل ڈیزائن رائٹ ان دا پریویس چیپٹر انڈر فیکٹوریل وی جسٹ مینشن دیٹ وی ہیو ٹو آر تھری ڈفرینٹ لیولز آف ون فیکٹر اینڈ وی چیک دیر انٹریکشن افیکٹ اینڈ اٹ از اے کریٹیکل تھنگ دیٹ وی ہیو اے لو لیول اینڈ ہائی لیول رائٹ آف ڈفرینٹ فیکٹرس and uh, here we have uh, two raised to power three factors two raised to power three factorial design in chapter number six right uh, the three different factors and each have two levels each have two levels factor a has two levels factor b has two level factor c has three levels and we will perform the experiment on SPSS how we enter the data it's a, a totally different from the previous experience in data entry right the critical thing is about uh, this is as well is data entry if you want to learn the basic things about data entry on SPSS uh, can leave you my first video and here we have uh, three different factors a b and c have into data and they have, we have response and the levels of factors uh, zero is labeled with low level and one for high levels labeling for all these three factors so for c and b same right we measure these two values in uh, uh, first my response in scale factor a in nominal b c these are nominals right. then data view Here I have we have uh, you can show uh, you can view that that is here 550 669 633 uh, similar data right in the column wise I have entered into the data we have two replicates of each factor okay 550 669 similar data is here and labeled over here okay uh, how you can mention the data all uh, right uh, here a little more explanation for data entering that's why i want to show you okay first i have entered the data complete data up to 860 right first it is response i have entered the data right then for factory first one is values for identity right is our identity first one is identity right there is no factor a no factor b and factor c there is a low level of factor a b and c right here Uh, for a next value is for a and that is factor a has high level factor b and c has low level right similarly the third one factor a has uh, low level right b has high level and c has low level similar right you can see then is you can enter the data in this way that the table has minus sign then we can write here as a low level the plus sign that means we can write as a one as a high level all right in the same way uh, you enter the data up to 860 one one for high level minus one for low level right after entry of data i think you have understand how to enter the data if you have any difficulty or ambiguities in the entry of data please comment and respond to me so that i can help you out and after entry of data we will go towards analyze then general linear model univariate response is dependent variable factor a b and c these are fixed factors right we will go towards the model custom interaction then factor a factor b factor c factor ab 
right okay sorry factor a factor b factor a b then factor c a and c select by pressing control and factor b c then effect of a b c right you can count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, these are 7 complete. Right, uh, how you can judge why these are 7? We have a formula as we have two level of each factor and we have three different factors 2 raised, uh, two raised power 3, that is equal to 8, uh, which shows the number of treatment combination. We denote them with k. k minus 1 is our treatment combination. 8 minus 1 7 these are seven different treatment combinations okay uncheck this one intercept continue and we go to options select all of them and display means descriptive statistics and okay press okay here's our ANOVA table you can compare the results with book S spaces for uh, a factor for A, the S sum of square is 41310. Okay, is, uh, is here. Sum of square is 41310, similar for B, 217.5. Right. 217 factor C 374850. The similar results are here 4131217 factor C 374850. Okay, we can explain. I want to explain the, the model, the ANOVA table, the significant the factor A has significant effect on response that we have in the statement, and factor B has in there is no effect. There is a non-significant effect there's no significant effect in of factor b because the value is greater than 0 0.05 uh, if we have a hypothesis for factor b here we accept the hypothesis null hypothesis as not right uh, there's no interaction between a and b for factor c has significant effect there is interaction in factor a and c there is no interaction in factor b and c there is no interaction in a b and c Right, this is not significant in fact. I hope you have uh, enjoyed the video, and I I hope so. It's a addition in your not previous knowledge. And thank you for watching. And comment if you have any difficulty in the data integral analysis. I will respond. Inshallah. Allah Hafiz.